My name is Victoria Sherry. I'm an oncology nurse practitioner at the Abramson Cancer Center at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania Medical Center, located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where I specialize in thoracic oncology. The use of standard of care concurrent chemo radiation as recommended by clinical guidelines can optimize outcomes and give patients without disease progression the opportunity to receive guideline recommended immunotherapy. It's important to manage adverse events proactively for patients who are receiving concurrent chemo radiation because we know that chemotherapy sensitizes the radiation and can add to the acuity of the toxicity. So proactive management can actually mitigate those adverse events, allowing patients to stay on treatment longer and avoiding delays in treatment, which is key. Because research has shown that patients who have missed doses of chemotherapy actually have a higher mortality rate. Esophagitis is an adverse event that can occur in about 79% of patients. So it can significantly impact these patients, their, their hydration and their nutrition status. Symptoms that patients may experience with esophagitis include difficulty swallowing, difficulty drinking. Um, they may have pain in their epigastric area. Um, they may have signs of reflux. There are many different ways to manage esophagitis. Some of the things that I do is First of all, prophylactically on my patients before they even begin chemo radiation, I will start them on a PPI to reduce gastric acids because we know that chemo and radiation together can cause an increase in gastric acids. As patients' esophagitis symptoms continue to progress, we will add in medications to help them get through this. One of them is magic mouthwash, which is a topical anesthetic. So it will numb the area and allow them to be able to eat and drink. I always add in sulcralfate. They take it four times a day before breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's a liquid that coats their esophagus. So the sores that are exposed from radiation are coated and allows food to get down much easier. Usually hand in hand with sulcralfate, I will prescribe an opioid and this can usually get them through the time period until they complete chemo radiation. Little tips for patients. Avoid spicy foods, such as pasta sauces, marinaras. You wanna stick more with bland foods, such as mashed potatoes. Um, they should not be smoking. They should not be drinking. That will irritate their esophagitis. They should increase their supplements. So if you're encouraging Boost or Ensure, they should increase these. It's important to educate your patient as well as their caregivers that the effects from the esophagitis will get progressively worse for probably about two weeks after they complete chemo and radiation. And that's really important because patients go home and they're not coming to the facility every single day and they think that they should feel better when in fact the effects of radiation are still working and still making that esophagitis worse as well as the fatigue and any other symptoms that they're experiencing. So that's really important to let the patient and their caregiver know. I tell them how important it is to stay on treatment as much as they can. And I, I think the key thing here is that they know that I'm on their team and that I'm here to support them to get them through the treatment. They can't do this alone and they don't want to do it alone. And they have their radiation oncologist and they have their medical oncologist and they have their nurse practitioner and they have the nutritionist and physical therapy and we have so many resources for them. We can get them through this.